on, on, on this public yeah. passageway right there. Okay, hold it right there. You see, public, yeah? We are the, we are the public. Yeah. We are the people of this nation. Yeah. Okay? So these, you guys are trespassing. This is not you guys Kuliana. We know the battle is not with you. It is when you look at the Pico and the Mole, we are at the root and we are Ohana. We are family. And we're in a system that's dividing and separating us, you know, only by appearance. The couple aloha that we hold is for you specifically because of you. Who you? Who you? Who you? And how they've chosen to come forward to us. It, it's hard. I, and the feelings, the feelings are mutual. We cannot iron out what has been forcefully branded upon us by the oppressor. But what we can do, what we can do is march in ceremony up to our Mauna, up to the next liner and hold the line for them because they never hear any of this. They got to go through all of this one more time. So let's support the next line. Ina, Ina Hiki, Kapu Aloha. Hiki no? Hiki no. Ehele Kako. Enihi Kahele. Mekamaaliye. From there, things began to get heated as tensions became elevated. And I saw a big difference between the way that the DLNR handled the situation and the way that the county handled the situation. In the second, we had that confrontation there where um, the DLNR came and used some physical force against us and tried to push their way through the line. Uh, we were able to kind of drag that that scenario out for about 12 to 15 minutes. <laughs> 10 minutes, 64 lines, 8 hours. And they're, and they're done, you know. So we're, we're trying to hold them for 8 hours a day in a sense. So. <laughs> Get away, get away. But after that, each line just kept getting shorter and shorter. And I kind of saw them trying to force whip the mountain. So I kind of wanted to make a statement, take a stand. And really, it was, I, I just I just felt it within me that I needed to, to not move. This is where the bulk of the arrests occurred. Governor David Ige's office announced that 11 adults were arrested by state DLNR law enforcement officials. Auntie, what's your name? What's your name? Larry. Thank you. You know, one guy got taken out, then another guy, and another guy, and I just, that was too much, so I said, I, it's, it's time to take a stand. Many of the targets were the alaka'i, or leaders, like Andre Perez, who came over from Oahu to participate. I know that um, I got picked up or arrested about maybe a half mile up the road. The treatment was, was professional. Um, it, it, it was pretty intense, you know, the... Uh, when we got arrested, um, you know, they were pretty aggressive. There was a lot of tension and aggression, um, but, you know, they, they, um, they treated us with respect. I do have a court date. Do you know what the court date is? My, yeah, it's right here on the piece of paper. Uh, my court date is set for July 16th um, in Waimea. Also arrested, Maui professor Samuel Kalekoa Kaeo. When I saw the approaching uh, caravan and, and, um, and state police, I was made aware that they had just kind of basically run over some of the earlier uh, lines, and as the kind of said line captain in my line, uh, you know, my my um, advice or orders to my line was that we were going to hold, but we were going to be totally peaceful, and we would not resist, we would not um, confront. In fact, that if the state police came onto us and they bullied their way right to us, we were going to allow them to bully right and run right over us at that point, and that's basically what had you know really occurred. Um, and I myself, specifically, it was kind of interesting where I was kind of arrested. I, uh, one, as I was doing a particular prayer, in the middle of my prayer, I know uh, an officer in front of me was informing me something in the sense that I had to leave the area. And then my cousin on the left side, I guess, you know, was kind of in a little struggle, I guess, going on. And so I, I grabbed his hand and, I, and I, I was turning to leave. And because I myself had no intention of really being arrested, specifically at that spot, you know. And while I was trying to leave, one of the other officers who I never noticed, I don't know where he came from, but he grabbed my wrist and said, oh, it's too late, you're gonna get arrested. And I said, this officer just told me to head to the back, to, you know, and grabbed me and he said, you know, too late. I said, you're gonna arrest me? He said, yes, you're gonna arrest me for, for what? 
and before I could say anything, he, he, he was trying to already put uh, the handcuffs on me. And so I said, well, I'm not going to resist at all. And so I, uh, you know, using Ahimsa and, and Satyagraha, talking about a great uh, Gandhi, I lay myself on the ground and, um, and I was taken into custody and taken into the van. At that, at, at that point. Just as things were reaching a boiling point, a decision was made to turn around. 30 meter telescope went home. And so I, I actually saw the, the cars turn around because we, they couldn't bring me to jail because the road was blocked. So I said, kick off. TMT, obstruction of traffic. Yeah, you know, I got to go to jail. Let's, let's go. <laughs> really showcase the power of our people. You know, uh, the power of Aloha Aina Oye Io, which is the love, the genuine love, the tr which is love, the land, and truth. Um, and really, when I, I really admire, and I gotta say, I was I was so touched um, and empowered by watching really our kupuna and uh, the elders of our community who really were the first level of defense in protecting Mauna Kea. There were also reports of boulders in the road, which would have blocked passage for the vehicles. But unfortunately, people utilize that today. The plan was to have that be a strategy for a full day. You know, so they kind of, we had two aces, they only thought we had one and we showed them two, so that was kind of unfortunate. The question now remains, how long will this continue? We, we, are, we want to remain unpredictable. Yeah. We don't want them coming to the mountain thinking that they know how they're going to handle the situation. We want them to spend time each and every morning assessing the situation, figuring out how can we handle this in the proper way. Governor David Ige's chief of staff, Mike McCartney, issued a statement that said the arrests are unfortunate, but the state's number one priority is the safety of the people on Mauna Kea, from TMT workers to protectors who are exercising their First Amendment rights to peacefully assemble and protest in a civil manner. McCartney went on to say the governor's office is disappointed and concerned that large boulders were found in the roadway leading to the summit. In McCartney's words, a serious and significant safety hazard. McCartney said work to clear the boulders will begin Thursday and construction would be on hold until further notice.